And what are your thoughts on mixing and matching brands? Awesome <laughs> front speakers, but then you're just cheaping out on some back speakers. Can, can I answer this one? Yeah. <laughs> I, get, I get asked this a lot, um, especially because I do a lot of the sales stuff inquiry-wise. Uh, we always uh, are huge ambassadors for obviously trying to keep the same tonality or, or timber matching, as they like to call it. Uh, so if you are starting from scratch, there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't use um, you know, Crick speakers all the way around or Priscilla speakers all the way around or, or Kef speakers or whatever. Uh, and, and that specific range has a specific matching surround sound. Uh, I always say to people, there's no point if you're going to do this right, we don't want to start compromising because uh, as much as all these audio tracks are mixed fantastically these days, the last thing you want to start doing is cheaping out and buying some uh, cheaper surrounds that you know are a different brand or a no brand or a generic brand um and i think it's a, it's very important to timber match um speakers uh and trying to keep everything in the same family um it, but it's a really good point in an ideal world yeah left center right surrounds and everything would be identical in, in, in some rooms we world. use the same speaker yeah, we, we've, around. and we've yeah. done that and it's great um I have but that. um you know I, I think there's another issue here too sometimes your surrounds or your atmos can be quite a long distance away from you. Mm. And what people don't always understand, and I had this recently, someone had some in-ceiling speakers, they weren't very high powered. Um, they had, he had an exceptionally high ceiling. And so to get to the sound pressure level, the amount of power you needed to drive to the speaker was more than the speaker could bear. And I said to him, look, you're gonna to have to change these speakers. And he went, no, I'm not changing them. I'm like, but if you want to actually hear those speakers, if we want to get, that heard at the listing position, you are going to destroy your speakers. And um, yeah. needless to say, that's exactly <laughs> what happened. And he had to go out and replace the speakers anyway. Um, and a lot, and again, a lot of people don't realize the bigger the room, the more power you need to get from that speaker all the way over there to me over here in the sweet spot. And the sensitivity of that speaker versus what that amp is capable of we work out power calculations mm. and, and we go, this isn't going to work. You need more power or you need a more efficient speaker. Uh, and a, a lot of the time people just buy packs and whack, you know, the, the shop doesn't even know what room it's going into. And, you know, we touched on this last time. And the fact of the matter is a lot of the time we stuff, we see stuff that's not properly powered. Mm. Um, and like what happened, the, the thing blew up. So, so, so you're either likely to, you know, destroy something. In fact, this guy not only took out a speaker, but one of the channels on his amp, so it was an expensive process. Hmm. But we did point that out. Um, hmm. the, the other part of that is that even if the speaker doesn't destroy itself, if it's driven at such high levels, it will be distorting. So, you know, a lot of people say, I can't hear my Atmos, I can't hear my surrounds. Um, you know, so you have to give some thought to how far are you driving that sound? What distance does it need to travel? Can it get there at the right sound pressure level and can it be there undistorted? And all of that adds to the experience. However, we also understand that everybody has a budget. And so, you know, if you're gonna start with good quality speakers, then, you know, your center speaker is, is critical. A lot of action happens at your center speaker. So do your LCRs. And look, if you have to use existing speakers or whatever, that's fine, you know, but be aware of the risks, be aware of the limitations. And that's the, the compromise you're going to live with in that room mm -hmm. at this point in time until someday maybe you can upgrade. Just, you know, eyes wide open, you know, be aware of those limitations. But a lot of people, you know, and in fact, a lot of people want, you know, a couple of dB more out of their Atmos. Mm -hmm. Wow, you know, 3 dB, that's a massive increase in power, for example. Yep. And, you know, so you're driving more power to your Atmos maybe than your LCRs now. And... You know, so this all has to be considered. And there are a million brands out there. Um, but I, yes, I, ideally getting everything matched is, is the best.